So there's an area at the top of the garden that just cries out for um, something like an outhouse. I suppose we looked at um, options around putting a, a brick structure in there and, and fairly quickly we, we dismissed that idea because um, obviously the option of prefabricated meant that it was a much quicker build, there was no planning permission required. Matt and Annette spotted their ideal garden room in a flat pack company catalogue. It's 12 foot by 12 foot with a 4 foot veranda and a wood shingle roof. Matt and Annette's garden has been transformed from a building site into this functional space with its 12 foot by 12 foot flat pack garden room, creating that extra room that they so desperately needed. I left you in December. So how long has it taken from them turning up with everything on the back of the lorry to you actually getting in here and starting work? It's very, very quick to actually erect the, the, the building. Mm. The things that have taken longer are things like the, getting the, the building work with the wall and the steps yeah. finished off and, and, and just sort of titivating it more than actually mm. doing the building. What about the fact that this is a flat pack, you know, I mean, it's sort of something that more and more people are doing now, but mm. I think people still think of them as being quite flimsy, not very good structures. Mm. Are you glad you went down the flat pack route? When, when you're in here and, and the doors are closed and the heating's on, it's, it's really cosy and it doesn't feel like a, a sort of a flat pack or a temporary building. It, no. it feels like a normal office room.